Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about video resolution and the current state of 8K. We'll also go into the history of video resolution and how we ended up where we are today. The race for resolution in the last 10 or so years has turned into a revolution, but it wasn't always like this in the past. From the 1930s to 40s, pioneering technology allowed resolution to be pushed between 240 to 819 lines per screen. Televisions before that had as little as 12 lines per screen. That was essentially the birth of progressive scanning and in 1953 we got the analog color television. And a lot of the TVs back then were actually called HD TVs, even though they displayed 5-3 aspect ratio images and resolutions that are considered tiny today. By the 1980s, screen resolution was being described in terms of pixels. The word pixel was originally derived from the words picture element in 1965. Before that, video resolution was expressed in terms of lines per screen, as mentioned earlier. Jump a few years forward and in 1987, IBM introduced a computer display with a resolution of 640 by 480, which would become the VGA standard to be used for many years after. The real breakthrough came about in 1991 when the Advanced Television Systems Committee, or ATSC, made a decision to shift from analog to digital TV. By 1996, digital broadcasting had officially been set as the future of television. Let's jump a couple more years to the 21st century and this is where things really start to get interesting. We started to see a shift in aspect ratio from more square image at 4.3 aspect ratio to the now standard 16.9 aspect ratio. SD 480p, HD 720p and 1080p were standard resolutions that were introduced in the late 90s by the ATSC. However, for most of the early years in the millennium, we only got screens and media in 480 VGA resolution on a mainstream level. All of these resolutions weren't actually intended to be used in the 69 aspect ratio up until 2002. So now let's jump out of the history lesson and dive into what video resolution really means in 2017. We already know that resolution is expressed in pixels in the modern day, but what does it actually mean when you have a 720p or 1080p frame of video? Well, firstly, the P means progressive, which means that in each frame, there are 720 or 1080 horizontal scan lines on the screen. The other type of scan is called an interlace scan. That standard is hardly used anymore. I've uploaded a video in the past about frame rate where I explain both types in more detail that I'll link up somewhere over here. A 720p frame has a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels, which is slightly less than a megapixel. A 1080p frame has 1920 by 1080 pixels and is commonly referred to as Full HD. There are 2.1 megapixels in each frame. Further than that, we have Ultra HD or UHD 2160p, which has a resolution of 3840 by 2160. This resolution is also commonly referred to as 4K UHD, but I'll explain in a bit why that technically isn't correct. UHD displays 8.3 megapixels in each frame. And even further than that, we have the Digital Cinema Initiatives or DCI 4K standard, which only specifies a horizontal resolution of 4096 pixels because movies vary in aspect ratio. However, a lot of the time DCI is delivered in a 4096 by 2160 pixel resolution. The megapixel count is similar to that of UHD, just slightly higher. So what this effectively means is that whenever you have a UHD frame or mainstream 4K, it is DCI 4K that is in the more widely used 69 aspect ratio. Now when we take it another leap further, we get into 8K UHD or 4320p, which has a resolution of 7680 by 4320 pixels. To put this into perspective, this has two times the vertical and horizontal resolution of 4K UHD and four times as many pixels at 33.2 megapixels. As you'd expect, cinema cameras will record 8K in a wider aspect ratio of 1.89 to 1 at 8192 by 4320 pixels. The Red Weapon 8K S35 is a good example of this as it records in full format 8K. YouTube tech reviewer Marquez Brownlee, or more commonly known as MKBHD, uses this camera for his videos. I'll link a video called Ghost Towns, which is the only 8K video I know that's on YouTube. So if your computer and internet connection are man enough for that sort of thing, then you should definitely check it out. So why do we need all of this resolution? Well, we don't. 
However, when making and developing films, overkill is always the way to go because if you shoot at the highest resolutions, you can then effectively downscale your video later for distribution, which usually yields a sharper image. The higher resolution also allows you to crop into your image without loss of detail. So for example, in every 8K UHD frame, you can crop out four 4K UHD frames without losing any detail at 4K UHD resolution. The same goes with 4K UHD and 1080p HD. It's a simple case of having a lot more to give you the freedom in post-production if you ever need it. At the moment, 8K resolution monitors and televisions are very hard to come by and very expensive if you do manage to find them. So 8K is still very much in its infancy. Will 8K become the standard one day? Who knows? It most likely will, but remember that 4K hasn't even really gotten to a mainstream level yet. This video is shot in 4K UHD, and to be honest, my internet connection cannot even stream this without stuttering for a satisfying viewing experience. The general public has hardly started consuming content in 4K, and a lot of people actually buy and own 4K UHD televisions but never take advantage of it because they only consume HD content. Another very important factor that is misunderstood and easily overlooked is the medium through which you view these videos. For example, if you view a 4K UHD video on a laptop or computer display with a resolution of 2560 by 1600, then what you're viewing isn't 4K UHD in its full splendor. Your laptop is actually downscaling that video then conforming it to your display resolution. Now depending on the pixel density of your display, this can actually look better in sharpness because there's a lot more information being scaled down. However, ideally if you want to enjoy full 4K UHD and all it has to offer, then you should view it on a display medium that actually supports native 4K resolution. So yes, 8K is here and it's here to stay. Over time, I'm sure 4K display mediums will get cheaper. And before we know it, full HD will become the less desirable video resolution for all of us. Thanks for watching, and I hope that this video was useful to you. Please leave a like or a comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Catch you folks in the next one.